Hey guys, this is my January empties. I just ran around to go and grab crap. Um, I finished a load of stuff and I cleaned out some stuff and it was just I happened to be at the end of some things. So, and I did plan to do like a Project 10 pan. I didn't do it yet. Anyway, um, but I will show you what I finished. Uh, first things first, because it's wet and I have to put it on the floor. This is a big bottle of the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. Uh, this stuff I really like. I like to put it over top of my good oil conditioner that I love. The Silk 18, you can get on Amazon. I don't have a coat or anything. It's just really good. Um, and you can use this as like a Coney top coat. Um, this thing holds loads. I can't, uh, I can't get to the stuff at the bottom because it won't come out. So this bottle's really heavy. There's still a whack of product in here. Uh, I'm wasting a bunch of it because I'm not willing to carve open this bottle and scrape it out. And I'm just not. So but it smells really good and it's really cheap. And if you use cones and you haven't tried this, you should, you can get it at Walmart. As we know, there's a Walmart everywhere. Um, I have had this for years. This is the Cover FX Skin Prep uh, Treatment and what is this claiming to be? Treatment and Priming Serum. I actually got this from my mom who asked me if I use serums because she didn't like it because she didn't like the feel of it. She found it heavy and I was like this is a primer. So a woman at Shoppers sold this to her as a serum as like a skincare step. I was like, no, this is a primer. This is silicone. This won't soak into your skin at all. Um, it's a very basic primer. Like all cover effects stuff, it is really great. It's very non-reactive in the skin. It's a basic silicone primer. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I'm glad I've finally done it. This is like six years later. It's an airless pump and it's just pure silicone. I don't even think it can go bad, so don't come for me. Um, I finally killed my Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. My dark circles are very dark, so I don't know if it's just because I'm just, like, I, I didn't, I didn't like it. The, I wound up having to use so much. I liked my Pro Longwear way more. Um, I don't, I didn't like it. I'm not going to repurchase it. Um. This is a mascara from Clinique I did like. I cleaned it off because I was putting it on the other night and the wand foinged out of my hand and flew into the toilet. That's how much I love you. I retrieved this from the toilet. Like it was just on the edge. Like it wasn't like in there and like, anyway, that's not important. Uh, it's a good mascara, but now it's been in a toilet, so I'm not gonna use it. Um, and also it wasn't, it was a good like, like volumizing, but like natural looking volumizing. It's okay. I didn't love it. I did love that it didn't seem to get everywhere. Actually, no, it still did seem to get everywhere. Anyway, um, I have a tiny sample of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which is, it smells really nice, but it's also very perfumey. Um, so I like the scent. I hadn't noticed how scented it was because the first time I tried it, I had a cold. I can't use this in my house because it's too strongly scented. So bear that in mind. Also, it was nice, but it wasn't groundbreaking for the price. Um, I've certainly had better body butters. Um, then I have the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream, and this is in pomegranate brand. Yeah, pomegranate raspberry. Um, this is my second time I've had this. I really like it. I'm currently, uh, I've just gotten the, because uh, we can finally get them in Canada, um, the bah, Dollar Shave Club. Their shave butter, it's a tubed product. Um, this has a really great effect pump. I really feel like I've gotten all the product out of here. Um, the Dr. Carver stuff is really nice. It is seemingly unscented or very lightly scented. This is 
fairly scented, but like not hugely. It was weird. I know when I bought this, it seemed a hell of a lot more scented than it was by the end. So that was confusing. Um, this stuff is really good. Um, the Dr. Carver stuff is really good. They're kind of very much of a muchness and they kind of cost about the same. The only, the only bonus to the Dr. Carver stuff is that because it's in a tube, I don't have to figure out where to put the top, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I like them both very similarly. Um, the Dr. Carver stuff comes to my house, so, and it's really hard for me to find the U.S. the shaving cream. Like, it's, it's like a, it is, yeah, it's like a, it's like a lotion. It's like a lotion. Um, and I like that it's in a pump and not an aerosol, so I do really like that. Um, I bought nail files, glass nail files, from a company called Shannon or Shaney on Amazon. I got like a 10 pack of these for like 15 bucks. Um, so I've basically, <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it, but I've kind of worn through it. I didn't realize that it's essentially like a sprayed on product and it's really hard to find spots on this where I can actually find grit anymore. Um, all in all, it was a really good deal. I'm not, if I didn't have like four more of these, I'd definitely, um, and actually I sort of like, I spread them out around my things. So I like, I just didn't know where I had any more. Um, and then I, I gave like four or five of them to my mom. Um, the only reason I haven't bought a new pack of them is uh, that they don't have them currently on Amazon right now. Um, but it's a really good deal and a super good stocking stuffer because glass files are way better. Like I, I was using this one for like six months. This was the one at my desk. So it had way better, um, yeah, lifespan than the ones I'd normally get, the sandpaper ones. Um, I've got a Sephora, this is a coconut water mask. Um, so these, these are like five bucks. It's a weird little pot thing. They say they think it's only like one use. Everybody gets like four or five uses out of these. Um, this one wasn't as good as the avocado one. The avocado one was way better. But this one smells really good. Um, yeah. I like this one like stayed cool feeling. So like I imagine this one be really nice in the summer. And like the avocado one was way more like nourishing feeling. They're both really good. To be fair, I've had a couple of these now and like I haven't not enjoyed a single one of them. So. Um, and then, okay, so this is a Fix Plus bottle, which I finished off the Fix Plus ages ago. So what was actually in here was Hard Candy, um, their fixing spray, which I had bought ages ago. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to clean this one out again because uh, I got a bunch of fixing sprays with atomizers I don't mind, but it's definitely a trick I recommend if there's one atomizer that you really like, but you're pretty sure you like a formula in a different bottle, because that's essentially what I did. I really liked the atomizer in this. I finished this up, and then I had the hard candy right there, so I just cleaned this out, and I put the hard candy spray in there, and uh, it served me well. <laughs> um, the other thing is that the atomizer in Fix Plus is not very like it's not very generous even though like it, it's a very fine mist so it just plain old takes you forever to get through anything that you put in here it's just I have so many right now and this is just out of I've had this particular container uh, I don't think I can back to Mac this I don't think so I'm just gonna recycle it um, <laughs> this is the remnants of a Keratin's Cauldron from Lush. Uh, it's a bath bomb. I was having a real issue with like super dry, itchy, awful skin um, last month. And I used this and it was so incredibly soothing. And I had like a 45 minute bath and this is like magic. These are like 12 bucks. I immediately, the next week, as soon as I could, as soon as I had a chance, went to Lush. Actually, I wound up going twice. Uh, I happened to be in the mall a second time, and I was like, just in case they have these back. So I went in there, and they didn't have any. So I left. <laughs> um, oh no, I did wind up getting something there. I can't remember. Anyway, however that went. Um, but these are amazing. Oh, I know. This is a bag from Lush, and I know exactly what was in here. 
I had a Dreamtime bath bomb. Did I? Yes, I had a Dreamtime bath bomb, and I used it, and it was great. I actually already repurchased two more. Um, and then I've got two sample packs of products. I have both, I've had both of these. Have I? Oh, no, I have the Day Serum. Um, but I have had this uh, face cream before. This is the uh, Lala Retro Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is really amazing. Um, and then the uh, Framboise Glycolic Night Serum. This was also amazing. The only thing that ever makes me like stop about, you know, Drunk Elephant is that the serum, like for instance, is 110. Uh, I get it. Like if that's all you're going to use, it's worth it. But also if God forbid you put it aside, they don't recommend you use it if it's been open for more than six months. So, um, and then this is the Alginist, what is this? The Advanced Lift Contouring Cream. This is really nice. This skin cream, it's nice. It smells really good. It feels really nice. Your skin feels like really plumped. Like I don't know how else to say it. Like it definitely, like I don't know that I necessarily felt that it was very like, it wasn't like, but it, it yeah, just like felt really nice. Like I can't, I can't qualify it better than that. I'm sorry. Um, oh yes, I finally finished off. No, I didn't finish off. There's still some in here, but I can't use it anymore. Uh, I got this Bella brush cleanser uh, on a really good sale at Lawton's, and I know why. Um, it's in, the scent is meant to be that like, I don't know, I can't remember what they call it, but it's essentially like the burnt sugar smell. Um, there's a nicer name for it. I hate the smell of this. I hate the smell of this, and I'm uncomfortable putting something that is so strongly scented in general, regardless of what the scent is, on a brush that I then shove in my eye. <laughs> it's it's not even that effective as a brush cleanser. Like it's it's okay, but like no. Um, I haven't got a replacement for this. Yeah, I keep thinking I should get the Cinema Secrets, and then I just don't because I get distracted by other things on Sephora. I wouldn't recommend this. It smells really strongly. Um, and yeah, it was just such a sickly sweet smell. Maybe that didn't help, but like it's really strong. So. I couldn't imagine why I would want to put that in my eyeball. Um, I'm getting rid of this hand soap. It's vanilla sugar. That's the scent of this. I got these both like a year and a half ago when everything was vanilla sugar scented. I have to get rid of this hand soap because the pump is broken. And also this soap, you can't tell, but it's really watered down. And I don't know why it's thick, but like when you go to use it, it doesn't actually it's not effective, so I'm getting rid of it. Vanilla sugar, that's what this smells like. But really strongly. It's awful. Oh, and then I had a tea from Davis Tea. This is the Hold 911. Um, my dad brought this home for me randomly. He went to go visit my brother, and I was sick while he was away. So he brought me this tea. Um, uh, bad colds require great intervention, like soothing mix of peppermint, juniper, and orange. So it's, um, uh, it includes organic peppermint, apple, juniper berries with natural eucalyptus and orange flavoring. So it kind of, it smells the way that Buckley's smells, but it's, it, it which is very incongruous with how it tastes, which is very mild. Like it smells really super strongly. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, yeah, it smells really strongly of eucalyptus. Uh, and then you drink it and it's actually really, really mild. Uh, it's very refreshing, actually. It was, it was really great and to the point where I, I actually went out and I bought a jar. Um, it, was, it was really nice. This really helped with their colds. Um, and then, oh, yes. So I have a GlamRx palette here. So I have a couple of points about this. Um, I had originally picked this up because I'd seen Candy Johnson talk about it when she used to be a face for Ipsy. Um, 
Ipsy put one of these in the bag, but the one that they put in was just like, essentially it's a tiny Z palette. So it's this sort of situation. This originally had two levels when I bought it. Um, it fell apart very quickly. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It fell apart very quickly. Um, I finished the original concealer. This only ever come in, this only ever came in one shade, right? There was no other shades. I don't know if they've changed that now, but it fell apart so quickly from semi-regular use that I never bothered to look at getting another one because it just like it's it it originally had like and this was the thing like this was always attached to the bottom and then there was a second tray that was attached kind of to the top so like this it would it would flip back I don't know how to explain that differently other than like it would open up like a book and it would be attached and it would sort of like be stood up and originally this powder pan was on that part um i took it out of that part and put it in here because i'm sick of flailing around with the thing that i didn't use anymore because the black eyeshadow in there was so dry and just useless um i used the lip balm thingy from it, it was like a tinted lip balm it was like a sort of like a very light red it was it was a nice color, but it wasn't very moisturizing. It was very waxy. Um, the concealer was pretty creamy. It was pretty decent. I was pretty happy with it. Um, I used that up really quickly, and I tried to replace it with a different concealer, I think. No, I replaced the lip balm with a different one. The concealer I just used up. It was... Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great, but it did the job kind of. Um, the black would have been better. Like, it wasn't good. It was so pout. Like, it was just dry. Like, it was just solid. Like, it was unusable. Um, and the powder was pretty okay. It's just, like, it's a basic silica powder. Um, the powder was pretty good. Um, so, actually, I consider that used up. Um, this is uh, a Yabby eyeshadow in grape. I kept trying to love it. I don't love it. Um, and also, it's tiny, and they would keep sending these single Yabby products, like this is like a highlighting concealer sort of a situation. Um, it's meant to be like a brightener, but it's not really a concealer. Um, these are both Yabby products. I don't like the concealer thing, it's too creamy, so like it never sits nicely, like it always moves around. The eyeshadow is okay, but I don't love it, and I can't explain to you why because it's a purple. I should love it. I love purples. I don't love it. I don't love the formula of it. It's weird and stiff. And the pan is so small. And I know that's kind of the point of Yabby is like, like the small pans and like, it's, I don't like it. When it's like, I apply so many of my eyeshadows with my finger. I can't get enough space in there to like wiggle my finger around to like, I don't even want to, like, it's so annoying for me to do that. And like, you would have it, like they essentially, I think they sell little pans that you can put your shadows into, but they really market them for like little Z palettes. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. It was also kind of chalky. It wasn't great. Like, but the powder was okay. But it's again, it's a basic silica powder. Um, many companies make that sort of HD style powder. In fact, Essence makes it now. <laughs> um, and I think Essence just changed up their formula, so it's a little less. Because that was the only thing Essence. Um, I think they had too much binder in it, so sometimes it would come off a little flaky. Um, so you kind of had to work with it a little bit. Um, but it's still, it's actually, it's a really good powder. I have it in my collection right now. Um, and then finally, I'm getting rid of this Revlon Color Soul color because I'm admitting finally that I can't be trusted. Because I looked back on it and I was like, when I tried to dye my hair three times in a week, I did it twice at home and then I took it to the salon and then my my friend who was a stylist thanked me for the challenge because my hair had gone orange and green and also brown and she was like did you get everywhere I was like yeah I made sure I got everywhere she's like some of it just didn't take I don't know um, I can't be trusted because I realized I had left it on for longer because it didn't do what I wanted I was like, no, I definitely followed the instructions this time. And then I looked back and was like, nope, I didn't. I will tell you one thing I am going to do. Because I paid for this. Is that, uh, 
I'm taking the conditioner out. And if you've never colored your hair, let me tell you something. The conditioner that they put in hair color, it's freaking amazing. I'm taking that conditioner out. Everything else can go. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully this hasn't been too long. Let me check. Yeah, it's been long. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for sticking with me. And that's what's going on. That was uh, the January empties. And uh, yeah, I will hopefully be a little more, a little more regular. I'm working on it. Uh, we have a we have a new family member in the house. Uh, my nephew has moved in with us. He's gonna be going to the NSCC. So it's just it's just more bodies, more bodies. So many people. My house is so full. Um, and just, just busyness post holiday. So, I will chat at you guys soon. And thank you so much. And I hope you guys are having a great day. All right. Bye. I say before I even find the button. I didn't find the button. Wait, where's the button? There's the button. <laughs>